Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you a microscope that can magnify up to a thousand times just by using a laser. And I'd like to thank Mel Science for sponsoring this video. I'll tell you more about them later on. I'm going to be using a little bit higher powered laser for this, just so you can see it better on camera. But you can actually use any laser pointer, even just a handheld laser pointer you can use, and it can be any color as well. In order to do this, it has to be a laser. It can't just be a normal flashlight or something. And that's for two reasons. The first reason is that you don't want light that spreads out quickly. Laser is light that's in phase with each other. And so when you shine it through something, it doesn't have the tendency to spread out as much. And also, all the light coming off of it is the exact same frequency. And so you won't get different diffraction patterns when you shine it off something small. In order to do this, first you just need a way to suspend a drop of water. And I'm going to be using a dropper, but you can use anything, a stick or anything in which you can suspend a good sized drop off the end of it. And then what you do is you set your laser about two feet back from the drop and shine the laser at the drop. So I'm just going to spray this so you can see the laser light. Put the drop right here. And if you get it right on, you'll notice on the back wall that you'll see a projection on the back. Okay, that is awesome. All right, first let's set up pure filtered water from my refrigerator. Get a good drop. Turn on our laser so it hits the drop directly. Look on the wall now. You can already see it, even in the light. So you can see even in my filtered water, there's a few things floating around. But not a lot, it's pretty clear. There goes one. <laughs> Whatever that is. So this could be a little mold spore or some type of bacteria that was in the cup. So for the most part, it's pretty clear. You can see a few things here, but not a ton in the water. So this is pretty good filtered water. There's not a lot of bacteria or mold spores in it. I thought a spider was crawling across the floor right there, but it's just some spores in my water. But now I'm gonna sprinkle some lycopodium moss in it. Now these are tiny little microscopic pores of moss. Let's see if we can actually see them in our projection now. Look how cool that is. So you can see they've linked together right here. Whoa, look how cool that is. You can literally see these spores. Watch when I just Put air by it now, they'll all start spinning. <laughs> that is so cool. Look at all of them clumped together right there. So we can totally see them. This works really just as good as my microscope. For example, here's what they look like under my microscope. Let's see if we can actually get some of my skin cells in here. So I just get a little bit of spit from my mouth and it should have some of my cheek cells in there and everything. So there should be a good amount of skin cells in there. Okay, so you can see a lot bigger objects in here now. This right here is a skin cell. The way this is working is the drop itself is acting like the lens that's spreading out the light. And so when it spreads out the light, it magnifies the image on your back wall there. The images aren't exactly perfect here because depending on where the particle is in the drop of water, it will magnify it more or less. And so they can look bigger or smaller depending on where they are in the drop of water. But it gives you a pretty good qualitative way to see how clean your drops of water are. What's cool is you'll notice that around the particles that you see, you see how it has this pattern of going light, dark, light, dark. That's actually a diffraction pattern. The peaks and valleys of the electromagnetic waves are actually constructively and destructively interfering with each other to make these light and dark patterns. Now, if you like these experiments that I've done here or other experiments that you've seen me do on my channel, you'll love these experiment kits called Mel Science Kits. 
I highly recommend these Mel Science Kits. I've used these kits even before the sponsorship. My kids have used them and I really like them. They bring the joy of experimenting into your own hands and they provide you with everything you need to perform the experiment. For example, let me show you from their chemistry kit called Artificial C this really cool experiment. You can see I have a completely non-viscous white liquid here, and then I have a completely liquid clear liquid here called liquid glass. Now watch what happens when I mix them together. First it looks like nothing happens. Watch this. <laughs> then all of a sudden it just solidifies so fast. Mel Science Kits are a subscription kit that's sent to you monthly. And they have a lot of different subjects as well. There's a lot under their physics subject and chemistry, and they even have a kids version for smaller kids as well. If you wanna check out Mel Science Kits for yourself, click the link in my description and type in the code Action Lab for 50% off your first month. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you liked this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and also hit the bell so you can be notified when I release my latest video. And also check out my shorts channel if you haven't yet. It's my channel where I do experiments similar to this channel but I make them in less than a minute. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.